Welcome friends. Today's video we are going to see about 6 standard term 2 unit 2 electricity. Here we have seen a, a wonderful infographics with lots of diagrams and text. Okay, here it says about the originally how electricity is formed. First you can see power station. From the power station the electricity is generated and it is portable to the generator. Then it is coming to our home with the help of transformers. It will be transmitted by electrical board, then it's come to our home. Same way, it will use it for bulb and all the appliances. Some other way are producing electricity are the power station using solar, wind and other mode of electricities. <laughs> so, in this lesson, you are going to learn about sources of electricity, where we can produce electricity. Equipments working on electricity, we know all electricity appliances in home. So, we are going to see about how it is work. Next, what are the kinds of electrical cell and understand their appliances. Cell means we can see is a battery. In remote control, we have battery. In mobile, we have battery. What are the different types of battery and their appliances? In the second part of this video, we are going to see about circuits conductor and insulators, how to make our own battery. Okay, the lesson starts with a simple uh, conversation uh, with Selvan, an engineer. Here first they are giving in an activity, a list of electrical appliances used in this home. So, first what you do, what are the electrical appliances in home, just you can list out. So, the sources of electricity is introduced with the help of simple story, Selvan and Selvi, they are twins, they went to the vacation uh, to the grandparents house. At the time of 6 o'clock, the grandparents switch on the light, the light is illuminated. That time Selvan asked how the lights are illuminated. So, that uh, simply uh, engineer will telling about due to electricity. So, what are the sources of electricity, likewise the story is narrated. So, how a electricity is come to your home. So, any device which produce electricity is called sources of electricity. There are many sources of electricity that is thermal station in Tamil Nadu we have Neiveli, Kadalo district, Ennur, hydral power station that is Metur, Salem, Papanasam, atomic power station Kalpakam, Kudangulam, wind mills Aralvaimuli and Kanyakumari. Uh, Kayatar in Thirnilva district. Apart from that, solar cells are there. So, these are the ways we can produce electricity. First, we are going to see about thermal power station. Thermal power station means thermal means heat, we know that. Burning of coal, diesel or any material to produce steam. The steam is rotate the turbine. Turbine is you can think, think about a small uh, fan like structure, it will rotate the coil, after that it electromagnetic rotates and it produces electricity. You can easily uh, correlate with this, when we give electricity the fan will rotate, same way when we rotate the fan the electricity will produce, this is the uh, simple logic. So, that fan like structure is called turbine. So, here heat is produced, second thing is hydral power station, hydral means water, same turbines are rotated with the help of flow of water. So, the water is flowing on the turbine, the turbine is rotating. So, the kinetic energy is converted into electric energy. Kinetic energy means rotation energy movement like that. Hydro power station long economic lives and low operating cost. When you going to the thermal power station, we have to burn coal. But here not like that, with the help of flow of water, we can produce hydral power stations. Next is atomic power station, we know that nuclear energy is used to boil the water. The concept is always same to spin the turbine to rotate the turbine. So, here also it will produce lot of energy. Next is windmills, windmills are just like a clean energy. So, big fan like structures in Aralvai Muli are so many places where the wind is high speed. So, that the windmills are rotating, windmills also containing turbines, it will produce electricity. Next, we are going to see about cells. 
a device that convert chemical energy into electrical energy is called cell okay here you can see the two type of cell one is primary cell another one is secondary cell primary cell we know that what are the cells we are using in wall clocks remotes even our wrist watch these cells are cannot be recharged okay it is used only once so the cells which cannot be recharged so they can usually only once is called primary cells secondary cells can be recharged many times are called secondary cells so for example our mobile battery automobile battery vehicle batteries all these things are ups batteries are said to be secondary cells okay here they give some examples you can find out which is primary cell and which is secondary cell primary cell means you put p secondary cell means you put s but what we are called battery actually is nothing but a remote cells are said to be a battery mostly but the battery is nothing but a series or a number of cells combined together to form battery okay when you put each and every cells then we can called it as a battery so battery is nothing but a collection of cells always a cell having positives and negatives okay so up to this we saw about sources of electricity and battery and cell next we are going to see the electrical circuit electrical circuit means when we switch on the switch then light will glow when we switch on the switch the fan will run off so it just like when you switching on the electricity will flow that is called electric circuit this for example torch light when you put torch light battery like this the lamp or the light will not glow when you put the series like this plus after minus after minus it will conduct with plus then only the electricity will flow this is called a simple circuit okay when you uh, reverse the one battery it won't work so that's all about circuit when you can easily identify you can easily understand for a electric circuit we need a cell or battery or electrical source source of electricity then connecting wires bulb and key key is nothing but a switch first one is open circuit so it is nothing but key is open condition electricity will not flow so when the key is open so it is not having contact so that electricity will not flow the battery is connected to uh, a switch again it will connected to the bulb even though it is totally connected when the key is open the electricity will not flow so the bulb will not glow next is closed circuit so when the key is closed so the electricity will flow on the close is nothing but our own switch on switch on means the electricity will flow the light will glow there are two uh, important types of uh, connections or circuits one is simple circuit then we can see series and parallel circuit simple circuit is nothing but a bulb wire it connected to the electrical source then a key key is nothing but a sim switch it is called simple circuit next is series circuit series circuit means more than one bulbs are connected means it is called series correct connection so a simple cell it kind to see key then the key is on means it glow all the lights so it is called series connection when you going for home uh, festivals like that we can see serial connection that is series connection next is parallel circuit parallel circuit means each and every switch have different bulbs in our home what the connection we are using is parallel circuit so that when you switch on this key the light one will glow when we switch on key two the lamp two will glow so this is called parallel circuit now we can see the symbols of electrical commode electrical cell means simple a plus and minus when you put it is called electrical cell battery means a plus minus plus minus again plus minus series will be coming to the a uh, combination of cells are putting together to make battery switch open means it is called switch off switch closed means it will join so it is called switch on position bulb we have two options one is glowing bulb and glowing bulb the line simply no denotes wires okay now we can easily draw a diagram using this uh, circuits simple circuit serial circuit and then parallel connection 
So serial connection means nothing but it having only one key to switch on all the bulbs. When we have parallel connection, each and every bulb or each and every electrical appliances can be controlled by different type of keys. Next we go and see the uh, concluding the cells. Primary cell which cannot be recharged. Then secondary cell which can be recharged many times. Next is connecting wire. All these things forming a simple uh, circuit or parallel or series circuits. The next part of this video we are going to see about conductors and insulators and very very interesting story of uh, Michael Faraday. Okay, All these things we are seeing in the next video. I hope this will be useful for you. Thank you.